Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first game of New World Hide and Seek. Winner gets 50k. So I've told my teammates to start hiding. You can see them in the areas. There's an orange guy, a pink guy, and a purple guy. I don't know if they're guys, but my guy, you know, guys, quotations. And um, they're all, that they can all hide within that kind of yellow urine stain colored on the map. So they can't go, they can't go further south in that kind of river that runs down the bottom there. So they have to stay within that yellow area. And uh, those, that's where everybody's hiding. They can move around if they want to, but I don't think anyone did. So that's their current hiding positions. And they're all in a group with me so I can see where they are. I'm not the one seeking them. My teammate, uh, Leos, is seeking them. And he has his HUD turned off. So he can't actually see their uh, nameplates when he comes across them. He literally has to find them. Which proves more difficult than we thought it would be. So we've got three contestants. Issy Ubu, Bot Grandpa, and Magneto X. And so Leos comes in, he goes to... I, 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 the most obvious, I'm just trying to follow him around. And um, I'm sort of killing all the mobs for him so he doesn't have to worry about them. If if any of the contestants get into a fight with one of the mobs and has to fight them off and they get busted, that's just the way it is. So after searching through the coven, he's just checking the... checking around. We actually thought... Uh, my original plan was to keep it on just this concrete part, um, but we thought that might not be hard for him to find people. We didn't actually realize it would be as hard as it was. You can see like he's running up and there's someone literally to the right of him, like within 10 meters. There's the guy right there. And uh, Leos is running around. I'm like, oh God, oh my God, he's so close to you. It's not funny. So I was trying to be a little bit careful to be like, um, not be looking at him because, you know, I don't want to like ruin people's hiding spots. But yeah, so first thing, that's when I started to realize this could be harder than I think because Leos just ran right past him. So he sort of just runs around this concrete structure for a while and doesn't find anyone. Um, and I'm just like killing people off. And so he um, decides that he's going to go and um, check down in the southern area. So um, he's killing people. I'm like, hurry up. He's supposed to be seeking. Let me kill them. So yeah, he starts to head off down there. I think once you get your eye in and hide and seek, it's going to be a lot better. So he um, just clicked in mats on the way. I don't know why I bad habit now that I've been doing the Iron Man. And so he climbs up to the top. And uh, I was just telling, yeah, he climbs up to the top. Let's have a little bit of a look around, see if he can see anyone. So you can see here that he's just dead in the middle of those two guys. So he's nowhere near them at the moment. I did actually tell him at this stage, I was like, dude, you actually did just walk past someone. You were within five meters of them and um, because I just wanted him to look, look more closely otherwise he could just be looking for ages I've also told these guys that there's gonna be a time limit so I'm gonna pull a mist of a mr. a bit of a mr. beast so that if he hasn't found anyone else within 10 minutes um, we're gonna restrict the area so then it comes a bit easier for him to find them now he's really close to this person but unfortunately there was a bit of a miscommunication from him and he didn't think when I said you can't go south of the river, I thought I meant the most southern river, but he took it as that river there, so he didn't bother to go look in that other um, section. So I was like dropping little general hints for him, like, ah, oh, you should go to areas that you haven't checked before, but he didn't realize that that was a part of the thing, so he didn't actually go look for it. But you can kind of see, like, there's so many hiding spots you don't appreciate, so it is quite a hard thing to do. So at, this, at the moment, I'm just thinking like, well, this is going to be a longer game than I thought. So, um, yeah, you can see I'm kind of putting them down. <laughs> uh, but, um, so we, um, yeah, so I've basically told them in two minutes time, we'll uh, restrict the area if he hasn't found anyone. And then I don't know who gets more excited, me or this guy, but this guy, Bot Grandpa, he's just a dude. He's awesome. And he goes, oh, I can't believe it now I'm on YouTube. And uh, cause he was, he was saying earlier that he was on a, um, he used to, he, two months ago, he was watching my build videos and then, um, and now he's in one of them and he was all excited. And then of course that was like contagious. Cause then I got all excited. Cause I was like, Oh my God, someone actually remember, watches my videos. And it was just, I don't know who was more excited, him or me. 
But I shouldn't actually say on this note, I'm up to 900 subs now, so I just hit it the other day, so this is cool. We're now li literally, officially closing in on the 1k, which is pretty epic. Um, so yeah, and I just thought this would be kind of like a fun video to do, be a little bit different, so, but yeah, and then just to have him kind of being all like really super stoked about being in one of my videos, just like, oh my god, I feel so cool. Okay, so Elias is doing the little perimeter check around here. He hasn't found anyone. I'm trying to still kill everyone. The fat neeks keep getting in my way. And now he's getting dangerously close to this other guy. Um, who's just around this corner here to the left. You can see him. He's like 50 meters away. So Elias came within like literally about 2 meters of him last time. And so, uh, but now he's checking a bit more closely. Except he just, yeah, doesn't even bother to look, really. Sort of. I'm, like, laughing at him again, because I'm like, dude, that's, like, the second time he's, like, come and, you know, come within fucking meters of you and yet walk straight past you. All right, so, who knows? Third time's the charm, eh? So he comes back for another look. And um, he's kind of just looking around everything. Here he's sort of saying, ah... Oh, we should have made them take off their clothes because if they're wearing dark clothes, they'd be quite hard to find in the shadows because he has the HED turned off. And here he goes. Oh, is he going to find him? Is he going to find him? Yeah, he found him. So that's it. Dun, 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 dun. First contestant out. So now he knows what he's dealing with. So now I tell him, um, I, because I want to close the area down and I don't want him just to be looking around the top, I sort of say, okay, it's in the bottom half. It's, oh, it's south right. of that kind of road. So um, he's like, at least, so I've narrowed down that area without them having to move. Um, but I have said to them, like, if he's still struggling to find you in like five minutes, I'm going to make you all go stand on the stone obelisk. So now he's just looking around again. Now at least he's got his eye in and he knows, and he knows what he's looking for. And he sort of correctly says to me, well, I don't think anyone's in there because otherwise they'd be getting attacked by the mobs. So that was a, a high IQ decision. At some point. He asks me if he's run past both of the guys at some point, and I say, yes, yes, you have run past them at some point. He's looking around, um, actually not, he's collecting maps, the little shit. It's like, you're supposed to be playing a game of hide and seek. Anyway, so he's, yeah, checking... Up above, he's checking down below, but he's just not finding anyone. Little does he know that that person's just like literally right across the river, but like he didn't know that he's supposed to check there, so unfortunately that person was going to be pretty damn safe. <laughs> and so, um, and after a certain point, I'm like, okay, everybody, you're going to have to move up to the stone wall, so I make... Leos run off, and so he teleports to another city, and then these guys hide, and then he comes back and searches for them again. Here we are, the legend, Bot Grandpa, a very kind man that made my day. It was really cool too, because he's like, oh, I'm so nervous. It was quite intense, you don't appreciate it, um, watching it probably on the video, but at the time it was pretty intense, especially when he's coming in close to you. Alright, so he comes back. Now, their positions, Bot Grandpa's on the side of the building. And, uh, Mag sorry, Magnento actually went and hit in the exact same spot as Issy did. So, that, um, may not work in his advantage. May, it may, but it may not because, um, obviously Leos has already looked there. So, that's the way it is. So, Leos is just kind of looking around, making sure. And I've also, I've told them both to go naked so that at least they're, uh, it's a bit easier to see their skin in the, in the shadows. This would have been a good hiding spot behind the tent. He's now coming close to Magnento. He's in that same hiding spot as the other guy was. Who also happened to be his friend, I think. Or in the same guild, at least. And so, will Leos remember to go check that same spot? Um, just in case. I'm just killing off the skeletons and he does find him so there we have the winner <laughs> <He found him. laughs> oh that's a good spot he was like on the edge just here 
Bot Grandpa, the reigning hide and seek champion of New World, and he gets his reward, 50,000 coins. So, congratulations, he did find the most epic hiding spot. He is also the most epic contestant because he is just so excited. Made my bloody day, that guy. So, congratulations, Bot Grandpa. May your hiding skills be stories your children tell to your grandchildren. And then, um, yeah, I just sort of said to him, I'll invite you to another. God, stop it. You're making me feel so special. I Honestly, he's really, really made me feel like the prettiest girl of the prom. And then um, just to, just when I thought things couldn't get any better, when he was feeling good about winning, I was feeling good because he was making me feel all like, oh, there's someone actually watched my videos. Then he asks for a bloody photo. And I'm like, Bob, Grandpa, you made my fucking day, friend. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Great, Bob, Grandpa. See you all later.